often. You're wearing your hat. I am. But mm. I don't. Well, I haven't got in. I can take it off. Watch. That's much better. <laughs> Let me get my luscious locks. Oh, good. Cheers. G'day, g'day. We're back again with another video. This one's due to popular demand. <laughs> <laughs> this video is all about why we didn't buy a brand new hybrid caravan. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I need to wet my whistle to speak. Okay, off you go. So number one reason was the weight. So although our car, I think, I'm pretty confident the Hilux can tow three and a half tonne. Um, our van come in it dry, so no water, nothing like that, brand new, 1.6, uh, so or a ballpark around that. Most of the ones we looked at were around two and a half, which we could still tow, but we didn't want to. We didn't want the drag. We happened to, when we were going to put the deposit on a brand new hybrid caravan, we were heading up and we had issues with the car, which delayed us a couple of days. So we ended up talking to a fella who had a Australian, mate, or not Australian, but a hybrid caravan. And he was saying it was like towing a brick. He said it's got all the whistles and bells, but it was bloody heavy to tow. Then when we got to our next destination, we spoke to another couple and they had an older caravan and they were saying how easy and light and how versatile it was. So that sort of swayed us a bit. We sort of felt like it was a, not calmer, but a, mm. maybe we should rethink things through. So we decided not to go and put the deposit down. And I sort of think that if, if, you know, all the signs are leading to one direction, then you may as well go with your gut feeling a little bit and go, this isn't feeling right. Hard solo, just saying. Oh, look, guy's got a Carlton draft. Anyway, moving on. Are you name dropping? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I'm using our GoPro. <laughs> Have you seen Gay's new Cobra? Anyway, <laughs> bugs. Are they not? A, are they no, no, they're not sponsored by anyone. They'll they're... be sponsored by Mortine soon. <laughs> <laughs> we got our flex. Uh, flex. Flexi tail, flexi tail, flex, flex tail, flex tail repellent yeah okay the second thing was basically they're all manufactured pretty much in the same area we've spoken to again along the path of uh, all the signs is pointing to one direction uh, somebody had done quite a bit of research about it and they said that most of them were, were pretty much built in the same if not the same factory then within a radius neighbors of each. yeah neighbors and things like that so they're all pretty much built within the, the same area So getting back to it, <laughs> where most of them are, are manufactured in the same sort of area. When we had a look at them earlier in, what year was it, this year, 2024, we went to the caravan and camping show. Hi. Inky bed. Inky bed. Toby bed. Toby bed. And just mine. And about the same space on the other side. else. We had a list of specific ones that we wanted to look at. When we had a look at them, uh, there was a very big difference in the quality of them, uh, but there wasn't a, a huge difference in the price of most of them. Most of them were pretty much in the same price bracket, but the quality of them was hugely different. Uh, some were finished much better than others. And some of the ones that we wanted to have a look at weren't there. So that made a big difference as well. And then it takes a lot more online research to look at stuff. I sort of feel like if you're going to be spending a significant amount of money, and you can spend a lot more, you probably need to know, for, for brand new, you probably need to know, you know, what the quality and the finishes are like. So a lot of them were a lot different. Uh, it was interesting to see. Some of them had little muff ups, where like you might pull a table out and there was maybe a window in the way or... And we have mentioned before that we had a Jayco Eagle. What was it, Jayco Eagle? So a pop-up, pop-top camper trailer type thing, I suppose you call it. And we were travelling down a really, really corrugated track one time. And when we got to the end of that very dusty corrugated track, our door flew open. Well, it was open. It we was, don't know when well, it flew open. It, well, we don't know when. Thankfully, uh, we really didn't. We managed to, it must have only just happened as we pulled in. It was at the end of the day, a bit of a long day's driving down the track. It, it didn't really have any dust no, in it. No, we were really lucky. But the latch was broken, therefore we couldn't lock it. So, And then I think we got back 
it, it was another week or two weeks later before we got back we booked it in uh, with Jayco to have it fixed and then it was like we had to wait a period of time then to have it fixed so it's do we go away in that time or do we not go away like there was all those sort of things so just the delay if the manufacturing's not right or something goes wrong and then the after service as well with them I think yeah and we'd heard that with especially a few of the brands we yeah. looked at that their after service after purchase service and care was not as, uh, as what it's it not should. as what it should be, yeah. yeah. But it, I yeah. think that can go with anything, to, to be fair, but yes, yes. that's... There was, uh, we did camp earlier this year and somebody did have a, a hybrid caravan and mm. they had an issue with their battery system and uh, it was brand new, they'd taken it out and they had... They'd taken they'd, it out but only on power. Only on power and then they came out and they were free camping off-grid so they wanted to use, uh, obviously, their battery system for the weekend. And after the first night, they woke up the next day. And I think we're starting... They had nothing. They had nothing? Or were they starting? It no, I think been... they had nothing. Because then they yeah. were concerned about the roof, the accentuators or whatever. They couldn't get yeah. them up or down as well. And yeah. there was no manual override. And Yeah, there was no power, no nothing. No, they couldn't get the... the yeah, so the power, the roof was um, automatically done with a button or whatever. Uh, press the button and away it goes and that wasn't working so yeah so they were on the phone to uh, the service team and they spoke to I don't know how many people they spoke to and they got all sorts of various answers about how to solve it one of them was to actually yeah. cut the wires yeah. she was coming she goes I don't care she'd had enough they were really no. good but she's like I don't care I'm gonna cut the wires and he was a bit like just wait and see um, and yeah, it worked out all right in the end for him. Oh, so, yeah. the he's watching bugs. And the sky. Oh, so one, and one yes, so then uh, we did end up helping them out. We, it was a simple solve at the end of the day. We lent them one of uh, our battery and they hooked up to that and they were able to use that to override everything and get the roof down. So that was a, a, simple, a simple solution. However, it did take them all weekend to get to that result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they yeah. sort of, yeah, they still did and stuff. And they were really good about they it. They were great like, about it. They yeah. just coped really well with if it. If it was so. us, we would have just, you know, driven home with it up and... Well, they were told to drive home with it up at like 40 k's <laughs> an hour, so that's going to work well. No, no, it's not. So, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Moving on to the next one. Which yeah. is? <laughs> Are the bugs getting you? Not at oh, two. Okay. Anyway, so number three, yeah. with these dodgy little fingers, is... We wanted a composting toilet. We've done a lot of research and composting toilets are something we're really passionate about having. It's just what suits us. And as the Dunny Queen, me, not gay, <laughs> that's also important. So we did a bit of research. We spoke to them, none of them were flexible on change. This is all you're getting. And if you want to change it then, you know, and then you're fluffing about with manufacturers works and then it can come to warranty issues and stuff like that so we're a bit concerned about that we also know a story of someone else and as we're chicks and i know we've said it with other stuff as well and we're getting a bit older we're getting longer in the teeth as such we're not as able to lift heavy stuff or we're probably not as flexible or not as i don't know versatile of lifting even though a lot of the the cartridges for your uh, waste even though they're on wheels yeah yeah you still yeah. have to pull it out drag it somewhere, lift it up, all those sort of things. How do you know that? I watch you do it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, exactly what Gay said. So it's still your lifting weight at probably between, what, 10 and 20 kilos, to be mm. fair. So we do know of someone who I think had splashback. Now, I don't care what anyone says. It's If it's we your own, it it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, if it's someone else, it would be a lot worse because there's no roses, whether it's your own or someone else's. It's nothing smelling like roses there. So that was one of the things that we were a bit... Mm. Uh, they were not flexible on at all. And I think the other thing was Gay really wanted an induction stove top because you don't want gas. I don't want gas. So I think that in the future, uh, gas won't be a thing with caravans. It's, it'll take a while, but where do you go to it to be like ahead of the curve or what have you? Uh, if that's the way that it's going, if you've got the power to use stuff, then why not have it where it is an induction uh, cooktop instead of using gas? Yeah. Yeah. So that sort of leads us into the next one too, mm. was not paying for the whistles and bells mm. as such, because we've got power in the car that we use. We don't need power in the van as such. Obviously the lights, and we can survive with solar for that. We can chuck a solar blanket or a solar panel or whatever and just connect it to the battery and 
that's fine. We can keep that topped up, even on a shady day or an overcast day, or worst case, we can hook it up to the car, but the car's always ticking over. We're not losing enough battery to lose. Even on an overcast day, I think we've been able to top our batteries up to 100%. We've only got the fridge running in it, but we can use the inverter. We use it for, we've got a um, air fryer, we've got a blender we use, um, and we've never had trouble with it. Our worst, worst case scenario would be we'd have to start the car up to top the battery up if we needed to top the caravan up. And that's diabolical. We're never gonna get to that stage. So, and that was part of, we don't wanna pay whistles and bells and pay for something we've already got that we've paid good money for and works really well for us. Yeah. It's not for everyone, but that's for us. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Did I mention it's been a lovely day? It's been warm. Mm-hmm. Oh, cut and draft. Is that nice? Your beer? Yes. Mm. I'm having a hard solve. Uh, our fourth one was all about price. The price of a new hybrid caravan as opposed to a second-hand ca older caravan. Uh, so what do you get that's, well, what do or don't you get with a new one versus an old one? Yeah. Does that make sense? It does to me. Hang on. <laughs> it's well, it's about as clear as mud so far. Yeah. So all you're so, saying is if we went out and bought a brand new caravan with all the whistles and bells that we wanted, all the ticks and boxes, but not being able to get the modifications, go out and get it, then we'd probably have to put extra in to get the mods done because we still would want a composting toilet mm. and we still would eventually get rid of the gas and have, yeah. we were going to modify the so, kitchen to have the induction. To get all those things, plus I think to have it made from the composite panels, uh, which basically probably means having it Australian made, you're looking at really good top dollar for a lot yeah. of those things. And still and still, it would be a small van, but it would be top dollar. For it would suit us. The yeah. size is probably well irrelevant, the but price, the money would be well Well over there. the price of what we can see the value for. Yeah. So we would rather put that money into experiences. So we do have our bucket list of things to do. Um, one of them is to, it can. <laughs> one of them is to travel around America again. So we have done Route 66, and then we've driven, we've continued that on, driven from what Route 66 is from Los Angeles to well either which way you go. But we went from Los Angeles to uh, what's a windy city, Chicago, and then from Chicago we basically went all the way down to the most southern point of. America, which is in Florida, the Key West. So we went all that way. Well, what you're basically trying to say is we would like to do that and more. So yeah. we want to spend at least another six months in yeah. one trip in America and that money can go to that. Yeah. Plus we still want to travel around Australia. Yeah, so we still got a composting toilet, but ours mm. is, we can move it around. I suppose mm. that's the advantage. We do have a hot water service. Yeah. So we just have the shower outside. You know, and, we, and that is run on gas, but we can run that on a smaller... Butane one. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing with the weight of stuff is that the gas bottles, we've got two gas bottles. They're only four and a half kilos, but yeah. they're still weighty. But they're still weighty. So I know that you can spend a lot of money these days and get uh, lighter, light, yeah. much lighter gas bottles. Uh, that would be an option, I suppose, about which way you go. Uh, yeah, but I would rather probably go down the try and wanting to make stuff as light as you can. We're still we're, so ultimately at the end of the day we've gone for something a lot cheaper that suits our needs. That we can th we've been away now in it for what five six weeks nearly solid. Yeah. Um, and we've had no real hiccups with it. No. It's easy to tow. I've been in windy weather. Are I've you gone... talking about number five? I think so, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to put my hand up. No, I would have seen it anyway. <laughs> my auntie said I had such small hands for such a big girl, and I don't think she meant I was tall. <laughs> um, but ultimately, as I said, we've been away five, six weeks in it. We've had no hiccups. We've been up hills, down hills, uh, in wind, not in wind. We're, overall, we have been pretty blessed with the weather we've driven in, to be fair. Rain, not we rain. We've had some hefty rain. Yeah, we've had yeah. some decent rain. We've got gas. Yeah. We use the gas. We've got a hot water service that runs off gas at the moment. We've got a composting toilet that we still have to empty. However, it's a lot easier. The system in it's a lot easier and it's more flexible for us. So we have compromised yes. or been adaptable with some of the stuff. So. We had our list of things that we wanted, and because we couldn't get a lot of that list, then we went to what else would be our next best option, and this is what we came up with, was what we bought, hence why we didn't get a 
a brick on wheels yeah. hybrid caravan. But it's each so, of their own. Everyone's got their reasons for what they some have. Some of them have got the pop-out beds and such, oh, or yes. the sides. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't want anything like that to have to set up things. I really liked our camper trailer. If you haven't seen the video, we've done a few videos on the camper trailer. I really liked our camper trailer, but we did run into a couple of issues when we were traveling around. And to save the headache of that, that's why we got the caravan. Things like setting up when it's, you know, muddy and you, you, you just can't get into places or it's raining. Or you can't peg down and you stuff can't like peg that. down, you can't do a lot of things. And I think when we this has been the first time I think where we have gone away and we've had a couple of days of rain. Yeah. Which we did. We copped a couple of decent two days maybe where we got around twenty forty mil between twenty and forty mil and where we were confined to being inside the caravan. Now in the camper trailer that would have been a lot harder for us than what it was in a caravan. Yeah. So yeah, everything, like that. but that's, that yeah. doesn't matter whether you've got a hybrid, a brand new, you know, fifth wheeler. There's it's always just, going to be pros and cons yeah, of everything. Right. It's what, what things are you going to compromise on to get to what you want to and do. And that's why we chose yeah. to compromise price and everything else to get our Royal Flair that we still don't have a name for. Because lesbians and les are <laughs> not at the top of the list. <laughs> We've got a list. Mine's not there. We're, we're just working through it. Yeah. I jumped the gun and called uh, the car Snowflake. And she wanted, what was it? Candy. Eye candy. I, you know, just candy. Yeah. yeah, as in eye candy. And I said no. no. And it, well, it was short for eye candy. But, but you then, called Bubbles Bubbles. No, hang on just a second. So I wanted candy after I'd named it Snowflake because then it was Halloween. Oh, no, not Halloween. It was Christmas time and people were going around <laughs> with candy canes on the car. And I'm like, look at that. It could be candy cane. It Snowflake could be eye is. candy. But it's Snowflake. So, yes. 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 And Gay called out. We had a Hyundai for a while. She called that Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles. And so Dorothy was what I called my old Dorothy the dinosaur. Yeah, so we haven't got yeah. one for the Royal Flair yet. No. So we're just going through the list. We have had some good suggestions. Yes. And apparently Lesbian's Lair's not on it. <laughs> that was my suggestion. No, so we got to, we're, we're still working on that. Yes. So if you do have any questions, more if we or haven't comments. answered something, or you just want to comment, then go, hi, Gay and Carol. Uh, we you can like... go Carol first if you want. <laughs> if you would like to do that, you can. And don't forget the thumbs up, yes. And if you haven't already, if you haven't seen our video on our canopy, we're looking for a hundred likes on that. Yep. So if you can go and give that a little watch and a, and a thumbs up as well, that would be awesome. And that's all that's from it us. for us. Thanks again. Bye. Ciao.